So here is the problem. The MMI boots and then I show you. I click that button. The screen shows up. So the monitor actually tells me it's good. Oh, then it shut down. See the problem? And there is no light on the MMI control. That's the issue. So the first thing we want to do is to check the fuses. There are three places, three boxes of fuses in this car. One is on the left side. Um, there was a cover here, like so. I took it out. And uh, you can see the fuses <coughs> here on the driver's side. Um, on the panel, you will find uh, for each position of the fuse what it is. Uh, check each of them, anything to do with the MMI. But uh, I didn't find anything here. So let's go to the right side of the car. Right side of the car, the same position. Uh, you take out the cover. Um, the cover was like this, so take it out. And uh, there, there are like two columns of fuses here. Uh, check the panel on the fuse, meanings. I didn't find anything to do with MMI either. The third place is in the trunk. So you open up the trunk on the right side. There is a compartment here. See there are two columns of fuses. It was covered like this. Turn it off. This is the diagram I printed out from the internet. That is the fuse box diagram um, in the back of the trunk. Um, this six and the seven are the two columns here. One, one is black, one is the brown. Looks like the numbers start from the bottom. One, two, three, four, all the way to twelve. Um, then on the fuse carrier black, there is one MMI. Here at a position two, but I didn't find the actually there is a fuse for position two. Kind of weird. Maybe this doesn't apply to my car. My car is a A6 Quattro. So, anyways, um, on the brown box number seven is the MMI. In here. So I decided to take out um, all the fuses one by one and uh, test with the multimeter. I uh, have a multimeter here, you just put it into a you know, ohm position and uh, test uh, each fuse. I'm not going to show you this, it's pretty easy to do. I double check uh, all the fuses are good. In my case, the fuses are good. Which is kind of a bad news. If you found a burnt uh, fuse, you just replace it. That will be a easy solve of the problem. But now for our case, not that easy. So we're going to further troubleshoot. So did some uh, research and uh, we learned. Actually the whole system, the MMM system, has an optical loop. Um, in the loop, it uh, may have uh, multiple components, including the here the CD changer. In my case, I have the CD changer. You guys might have other things in here. Um, I I tested uh, out the CD changer. Looks like it's working fine. Uh, doesn't seems to be the issue here. 
Then in the trunk, here is the trunk on the left side. You see uh, there is a bigger rack of components. Um, actually, they are the both uh, sound system and the radio receivers. And this one is the navigation system. On the left side, you, you may or may not have it. It's a satellite, a satellite radio. All those components actually are in the optical loop. Um, you guys may also have uh, what I read from the internet, a BT module, Bluetooth module. It is under the driver side of the seat. I'm not sure if I have that one or not. Um, then I followed some YouTube video. Um, I took out this whole assembly and then give me access to the MMI control board which is this one um, the board you can take it out and um, there is the print board inside actually I ordered a used one and it's pretty cheap about 30 bucks from eBay so I changed that one but the issue didn't, uh, the issue still there, didn't fix the problem. This is the MMI board I took out from my car. Uh, looks like there is uh, some stain and mark here, maybe it's damaged. Uh, anyway, I changed it to a new one. You need to make sure when you buy a one, uh, it match your car. Um, anyway, I replaced it anyway, so just to rule out this is not causing the problem now. Now next, um, we're going to do a VCD scan. Uh, I have this Vagacom cable actually. Um, and I learned that there is an application actually can do the optical loop scan I didn't know that beforehand I read a uh, Audi forum somebody said it in there so I searched it up so let's do a scan so we connected the cable it's under the steering wheel uh, this cable plug it in and uh, there is a green light it should, should be green So we're going to uh, put it on power on. Don't need to start the engine. Power on is okay. We are ready for us again. Uh, load up the VCD as a software. Uh, first, go to options. Make sure uh, connectivity is good. So do a quick test. Everything looks good. Now you can apply and save. I already saved. Um, <clears throat> the application we're going to use is Optical Bus Diagnostics. So in here, it will test all the components in the optical loop. Kind of cool. Save uh, a lot of time troubleshooting uh, what components could uh, have gone bad. If you don't have this software or the VAGCOM cable, um, you may want to manually isolate the components one by one. You may want to, uh, I'll show you the list when it's uh, finished. So you might want to start from <clears throat> the top down. Okay, so in our case, um, it started, error started from the sound system and then the radio optical is also bad. Looks like the sound system also have electrical errors. Um, this component may be totally uh, dead. This is good to know. So at least we know where to start. Uh, in your case, there may be more components in the loop. 
So you have to isolate them one by one. So you can see the first is the CAN gateway, usually it's good. Uh, then the control head, uh, media players, like the CD changers, uh, we went through. The CD changer was good. Telephone, OK and OK. Sound system, radio, navigation. Navigation um, is also in the back of the trunk. Uh, then the digital radio, that's a satellite radio, also on the rack in the back. Um, so here is back to the trunk. Uh, the left side of the car, there is a compartment. You open it up, you will see this rack of systems. Um, it has multiple components. The first one on the top, this one, is the Bose. So Bose shows here. The second one, um, according to my research, is the radio receiver actually. I almost uh, wanted to order a um, replacement for this radio receiver. Um, but I'll wait. Uh, this third one is Audi navigation. It shows on here. The DVD, the navigation DVD is in, in here. The last one, in my case, is the satellite radio. This whole rack is pretty easy to take out. At first, I didn't know how to take it out. Watch the, again, watch the, some YouTube videos. There are... <coughs> um, up there, you can see. Let me see. Okay, uh, one here. Another screw on the right. So with a hand, with a hand uh, here, and that screw go through. A screw go through this hole. Uh, another one in the back. You just unscrew both. And there is another one on the floor. You undo it. You can take out the whole uh, assembly. So let's unplug this both. This one is uh, the one we have problems. There is a big uh, plug here. Another plug down there. That's the opti optical. This one is the optical loop optical plug. Uh, each of the components you see, it has this uh, same similar optical one. Down here, that's optical as well. So, to unplug this, uh, there is a little button you have to squeeze, then rotate that way. I have to use two hands to do it. Okay, so I pressed that uh, little button up here, and then you can just uh, pull it out like that. Okay, so this one, I guess it's both um, power and the signal is out. And then we're going to take out the optical. Next, we're going to use this optical um, bypass to bypass this particular component. So what we do is just to get this little uh, bypass from either eBay or Amazon. Uh, I just got it today. So <coughs> you unplug uh, it in here. Okay, with one hand, um, like that. So, even though we didn't power on the bolts, the bolts is laying around, and we are by <coughs> we have bypassing the component. Let's see the MI 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 starts up. Okay. Radio station shows up. It's lightening up as well on the board. Everything came back to life.
car menu everything I can move it up and down so the problem is found the problem is at the amplifier we need to uh, replace it this is the amplifier I took out the cover just want to look inside anything wrong with the board looks like the board is pretty clean and uh, I looked inside as well there is a there is a plug for the fan right there you can take it out but I looked inside everything looks fine but still looks it is at a fault I don't know why I'm gonna put it back back to the cover Okay, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to place in the order for the amplifier from eBay. When the new part comes in, I will install it and let you guys know uh, it should fix it. <laughs> 